You know, we're, we're talking about a Black History Month, uh, but Black History Month, uh, Black History is American history. It's our history. It's, right. uh, we are a people. And, you know, you understand that. Anybody that has a business, I believe, understands that. Right. Um, but you took it another level. Right. And right. Now, that, now you're an author. Right, right. And, uh, you, you know, I think we saw a picture of, of your son. Right, you have a son the, rowing there. On the way in the door. Uh, tell us That's a little actually, bit about the book. I made a picture of him right there. Yeah. Um, when he was four years old, so about three or four years ago, he used to be a, a model, but he, re he retired at five. He said he doesn't want to do it anymore. But he modeled from four months to five years old, and we were coming home from a modeling gig in New York. And um, it's like a light just came on. He, it's like he noticed for the first time that we were different skin tones because his mom's from Lithuania, you know, blonde, blue eyes, and then, and then I have brown skin. So he just noticed for the first time, <clears throat> and I'm racing through my mind trying to think, you know, how do you have a, the race talk with a four-year-old, there are a lot of political things going yeah. on, and I want to say the right things. I've never been a parent before, and before I can say anything, he goes, "We're," he goes, "We're really all just the same. It's fine." And that was the end of the conversation. So I was, um, I was so proud of him at that moment when he said that, that he understood something that a lot of us adults don't really ever get to understand. So as soon as he fell asleep on the train on the way home, I took out my iPhone and, and wrote the book, and then it sat on my phone for four years. He's almost eight now. And a couple of local authors um, wrote books. I'm like, how'd you do that? And they gave me a publisher, um, Robin over there at um, Learning Rock Press in Gales Ferry. And she helped me rewrite the book and, or reform the book and get it published. So. And so you have this for sale? I know. Uh, I do. I, it's on Amazon. It's at a lot of fine restaurants, including your restaurant, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in, in, in different places. And it, it's just been going really well. We had some, um, really, um, some local companies, including Bouvier Insurance, who bought a bunch and donated them to local schools. And it just, it's just being really well received all over the the whole country. A friend of mine actually, she bought a hundred books um, for a school system in Colorado because a friend of hers, son was getting harassed because his mom was gay and she wanted all the kids to really read this book and you know just because it's not just about race, it's about any kind of differences that deep down we're really just all the same like a shared humanity so yeah. it's been really well received and yeah. my, uh, my niece Autumn um, illustrated the whole thing. She's a great artist so it's worked out pretty well. So we're really all the same. A Rod Cornish book. <laughs> Inspired yeah. by his son, yeah, really. uh, yeah. a Rod Cornish recipe uh, inspires. I'm not giving the recipe. Inspi <laughs> I know. I tried to get the recipe yeah, he out, did, and he, he wouldn't did. give me the recipe. But uh, but that's okay. Uh, I'm I'm happy to come over here and enjoy it. You know, thanks for having us today. Thanks for sharing a little bit about your history as Absolutely. we celebrate Black History, which is uh, American history and Connecticut history. And you know, we really are all just the same.